You take an order and then you start, you have to build the food. It's a tight space and just about every inch in this mobile kitchen is designed for storing, preparing, cooking and serving food. So it's a full commercial kitchen. That's what things people, people need to understand is it's just like going to a restaurant, except you don't sit down and eat. And that's the appeal of food trucks. Quality food in a convenient location that can be picked up quickly. Kimberly says the food truck industry is booming. His company, Pizza Trucks of Canada, is making trucks for businesses around the world. Uh, we're going to do about 30 units this year, and uh, we just shipped one in January to Kenya. Uh, last year they shipped one to Australia. Uh, we ship about 60% uh, of our product goes to the U.S. So. The Dougald-based company started out with one food truck built by Steve Moynes in 1998. Kimberly took over a year ago, but Moynes' two sons still work for the eight-person company. And, uh, I was making dough in the back. I was 12. Um, my sister was answering the phone. She was nine. My mom would be cooking the pizzas. My dad would be driving. And one thing led to another. Uh, one gentleman came up. He's like, hey, how can I get in on this? And that, led, that led to the second expressway, and the third, the fourth, the fifth. And those pizza trucks led to even more opportunities with franchises like Little Caesars Pizza and locally owned food trucks like Honor Roll Sandwiches. The team is also about to build two disaster relief trucks for the Salvation Army. The reason they have to do what they're doing is they have to come to me because their old truck didn't have a three compartment sink. But their latest project is by far their biggest. They've transformed this 1947 school bus into New York Fry's very first food truck. Look at that ride system. Ain't it a beaut? It took a year and over $200,000 to take it from this to this. Uh, we're thrilled with it. It's going to be um, a, a great working vehicle. It'll It'll be able to drive up, we'll be able to cook our burgers and our fries and our tin. The Made in Manitoba bus will hit the streets of Toronto this summer. For Go Winnipeg, I'm Jessica Cable.